Hello, today we'll learn how to create a list box in Excel sheet. Now, take an example. You want here list of options to be displayed in one go and you want a person can select their option from it. Now, for this, you can take either a list box from form control or from ActiveX controls in Excel. Now, in developer tab, now, if this deliver tab is not available in your menu bar, then how to activate this? I've explained in my one of video. You can check that link. I have kept the link in the description. I click on developer tab. Here you have insert. Click on insert. You have two kinds of control, either form controls or activist controls. In form controls, if you see, you have this list box. And in activist control, also you have this list box right the only difference is that if you have taken a list box or any control from form control you will have less functionalities of that control and if you need more functionalities more features of that control then take that control from activex control now let's take first list box from form control i click on this list box and wherever you want you can just drag it fine and now either now it is selected either you can click on this properties or right click and form it control from wherever you want i click on properties here now this is one of the main control this is one of the main property of this okay input range the list of options you want to show here now my list is, is basically in sheet 2 either i can do one thing i click on this i can go to sheet 2 and select my range like this okay this is one way and click okay so you get the options another way is right go to properties and controls here instead of this you can just write dpt list basically i have given the name of from a1 to a7 the selected range of cells i've given a name now how to give name to the selected cell set of cells i've explained in one of my video i've kept that link also in description you can check from there Click OK. Fine. Now go back. I am I switch off the design mode. Now you can select any one, any option like this. Okay. Now right click, go to properties. If you want multiple selections, you can say multiple. Click OK. Switch off your design mode, click somewhere else. Now, in multiple, see it is selecting in this particular way. Fine, without any shift, without pressing any shift and control. Right click, format control, you have extended. It is also one of the same thing as multi, but the difference is that now let me first i've click on this without pressing any keyboard shift i click on this see now without pressing any shift only at a time you can select one if you're clicking only mouse button now if you want to select multiple just press shift and then you do like this or if you press control it will allow you to only select those which are selected if you press shift and down arrow key of your mouse then all the option from the first two where you have selected fine now similarly right click here go to format control i will say single now here you have single link basically if you want if something is selected where it should be printed. 
say for example in G3. So I can select the range of the cell here, G3. However, this you have to remember that it should be of single type. If multiple, then nothing will be print here. Click OK. You can say this is a restrictions. Now, whatever the option you select, it index will be displayed here. Fine. Now, with the help of this index, you can do your coding. Say, for example, I. Uh, you can put any formula of Excel and you can work on it according to this. Fine. Now let's take insert activist control from list box from form control. I select this list box. I drag it here. Now if right click and you click on this format control you will see you have here very less properties fine however if you select this and click on these properties from here or from here you can see you have a lot of different properties fine list fill range is same either i can say my list is in which sheet 2 say as a sheet 2 explanation mark a1 to a7 in this way or I can say BPT list, the name of my list, right? Then mouse pointer, you can change the mouse pointer. So I say I need this mouse pointer when I roll over there. Now here multiple select, it's a single select. You have again different kind of selections, fine. First, I will say single select. You can change the border color, you can change the background color, and many more properties are there. Fine. Close. I click on design mode to close my design mode. Now, if you see, as in I know, only one option is selected. Now, let's try. Click on design mode to go back to the design mode. Go to properties. Let's change the mouse pointer to something else. Say, for example, cross. And let's change this should be single. Fine. As of now, right click. So now see your mouse pointer has changed. Fine. Similarly, if you want to select multiple options, then go back to design mode, select this up, go to properties from multiple selection. You can take this multi select multi. This is again one of the same thing. Like in that multi was there. So if I select this and I press shift and I press sales, so all the sales will be selected. Fine. Now select this, go back to design mode, go to properties, select this, extend. Okay, now if you have selected extend, say for example, like this. Again, if you're just using your mouse, clicking on this, this was selected. Click on this, this was selected. If you press Select this and press shift and now click on accounting. So all threes are selected. Now, if you just press control and now press sales, only sale will be selected. Fine. So different ways of selection in multiple form. Now click on design mode, click here, go to properties. Link cell is also if you want what should be print whatever is selected here should be printed somewhere say for example in g4 i say g4 for this also it should be as of now this should be of single fine 
close. Go back. Now if you select something. Now see here. In when you have taken a list box from form control, whatever the option you select, its index is printed. Okay. However, when you have taken a list box from Equus control, whatever you select, its direct text, whatever the text was there, is printed here. Fine. It's clear. However, as of now, you have seen in list box, uh, whatever is printing here, we have to select that as in they, this property. Sorry, sorry, the property of list like here, I say format, we have taken single. Okay. When I, and for this also, when we are to put the value, whatever selected, we have given only one range. We can get only one cell range. Okay. And in, in this, uh, also we have selected single. We can't select multi. If we select multi, see what happened. Say, for example, if it's like multi here, nothing will be happen. Fine. Similarly, if you take multi for this, nothing will be happen. Why? Okay, nothing will happen. So if because we have just done this thing with the help of properties in properties, there are certain restrictions. Okay. However, if you want a list box and you want multiple options can be select and then you want to display those multiple options to be print anywhere in your Excel, we can do, but that should be done with the help of which basic coding. And also in that case, you have to use which kind of control active X control means you have to take list box from active X control. Okay. Because when you're taken a control from active X control, you can write your own set of codings as per your comment. Okay. I will explain how to write visual basic coding for this so that whatever the multiple options are selected in your list, you can print anywhere in your Excel in my next video. Till then, goodbye, take care. And also, if you like my video, please like and share my video. Bye-bye.